I'm Kevin McCormley of Kiplinger's, and I'm here with Janet Bodner, the deputy editor of Kiplinger's Personal Finance Magazine, to talk about credit scores. Janet, we hear a lot about credit scores. How important is it really? Well, a credit score, Kevin, is important enough to be concerned about, but not so important that you should obsess over it. Well, explain, please. Well, it does. your credit score does determine whether you're going to get credit, what interest rate you're going to pay, and also some other things as well. Um, employers can look up your credit score before they offer you a job. Your insurance premium can also be dependent on your credit score because auto insurance, for example, people research has shown that people who have higher scores file fewer claims and so they pay lower rates. Well, what score should I shoot for? Well, the, the most common score is the so-called FICO score, which is compiled by a company called Fair Isaac, and the range goes from 300 to 850. Now, interestingly enough, about 60% of people have scores over 700. The median is about 723. So if you're over 700, the higher you are uh, in that range is good, but, and this is the obsessive part, you don't need to have a perfect 800 score. Okay, let's say I don't live in Lake Wobegon and my score is below 700. Then it does help to improve your score. Uh, if you're below 700, an improvement of 30 or 50 points even, getting yourself up to that 700 level can really make a big difference in the interest rate that you pay for credit. Is it hard to improve a credit score? No, actually, it's amazingly simple. In fact, you might say it's as simple as one, two, three. There are three steps you can take. Okay, Janet, number one. <laughs> number one is, and this is so obvious that people sometimes ignore it, just pay your bills on time. Your, uh, your credit score, about a third of your credit score is really based on the prompt payment record that you have. So if you're on time, you're really right on track. Number two? And number two would be to keep your balances low. Try to keep your outstanding balances to about 25% of your overall credit limit. And lenders like to see that. And finally? And finally, don't apply for a lot of credit at the same time, especially if you're in the market for a mortgage. I'd hold off on other types of credit because if you apply for lots of different credit cards or different types of credits, the lenders assume that you're going to max out all your credit lines and you don't want them to think that. Great advice, Janet. Thank you.